Hey everybody, it's Michelle here for Scrappy Chic. Um, back for part two uh, of our demo with the Dino Wakely gloss sprays and the media board that we cut up. I'm um, gonna show a technique that she demonstrated on one of her uh, daily videos with sticky back canvas um, and making a book. So in our other video, we created these little three by three squares um, and we're going to make a little book out of them. Uh, works best with an odd number uh, of pages. And so I have seven and I'm going, I've got them all laid out in the order that I want them to be in the book. So I'm going to stack them up um, in the order that I want to bind them. And they're not all the same size, but I really don't care, I guess. Maybe that goes that way. Oh, there we go. Okay, so that is going to be our ooh, cover. I've already pre-cut up some strips, so we're gonna use these little um, strips that I cut of the sticky back canvas to bind them. So it's really simple. Um, it's a, it, it's hard to explain, so I'm just gonna show you. It's a, a tab that you're creating with the sticky back canvas. So I used the, the sticky back canvas and I splattered it with um, gloss sprays when I was creating these pages. So we are going to do a two-one combination of the tabs. So our binding, we're going to start the, with the two. It gives it a little bit, it's a little bit sturdier if you do that. So we're going to start with putting two um, tabs like that. And then we are going to flip the first page over like this. And then we are going to do the one and make sure that it's in between. All right, so we put that there. And then we flip this one over on here. And what you do now is take the two that you already put first and you fold them over the two pages like that. All right, so you just do the two. And then the next is and I'm finding it a miracle that I'm able to peel the backs off of this sticky back canvas so easily. I usually have such a hard time. All right, so you're gonna do opposite, you know, uh, back and forth, um, alternating <laughs> between the two and the one. So we did one last, now we are going to do the two, and you can see I'm not really lining them up. Man, eh, they're pretty close, not too bad. So you'll then, again, you flip this next page, and then you put the one up right and now we are going to do one and flip that over and flip up the two tabs here like this um, again this is not my technique um, Dina demonstrated this and, and she learned it from someone as well. Um, I don't remember if she named the person that taught her this, but I know that she, she did not come up with it either. So it's just a great binding technique. Ooh, now I've jinxed myself. I can't get the back off. Okay, so now uh, two, let's see, one was last. Now we're gonna do two and you will see the little tabs that you put on on your pages so that's why i decorated them first and then when you go to to work in your book too you can treat the tabs as part of the background as well so then you flip that over and you bring the one tab up and so we just did two now we are going to do one Flip that over and bring these two. And then on the last one, ooh, I didn't do enough tabs. I did one more. Uh, on the last one, you do two. It's good to end um, with more tabs. I mean, you could do this with three and five, um, or if you're doing a really big, giant book, you could do 
seven and five, I don't know. But the great thing about it is you can make this as thick as you want because once you get this all complete, Oh, actually, sorry, we should do an even number of pages. I totally messed that up. So I'm just gonna do a blank one um, because you want these two to be the last. So an even number, an even number of pages. I know I said an odd number of pages, an even number of pages. Um, of course, I needed to do it to figure it out. I probably should have done a sample for y'all. So, um, okay. So we're gonna have these two like this, and then the last one you're just gonna flip over like that, so you'll have three. So this is what your binding is gonna end up looking like on your book, oops, sorry. So here it is. But the great thing about it is, is that your book opens flat. So, and it will be a little wobbly because we've only got two, but. Um, once it's stuck and you get it all stuck on and it sits like that for a little while, it's definitely stuck. So this is the binding. Um, this will be our cover and we can decorate it as a cover. But the great thing about it is again that it opens flat so that when you're uh, working in this journal or book or whatever it is, the pages open flat. All right. If there's any uh, thing that we can get for you, Scrappy Chic, excuse me, Scrappy Chic is shipping. Email at info at scrappychic.com and stay safe.